Making wine is an ancient process, but at Tabilk Winery in Victoria's northeast, they're taking action to ensure their future. I think if you're a business and you're not doing these types of things, then um, you're really missing out for the future generation. Tabilk is one of the few vineyards in Australia to be certified carbon neutral, meaning they offset all of the carbon dioxide they produce. It's cut emissions by 45% in the last decade using solar power and revegetation projects. They've even applied a heat reflective paint used on rocket ships to cool down their restaurant. We'd have customers really struggling with heat stress and so I thought well let's put this paint on and see how we go and it was like an immediate uh, impact. Sustainability is now a core part of staff training. Grape growing and winemaking is is very influenced by the climate and we're really seeing the effects of climate change. Even with all of their technological developments and environmental projects, the winery still needs to purchase carbon credits to get to carbon neutral. But they have the long game in mind, with plans to be able to offset all of their carbon emissions naturally by 2025. We're 97% of the way in our journey to being naturally balanced carbon neutral, so we're hoping in the next few years that we'll be able to achieve that goal through more revegetation. Tabilk's carbon auditor says it expects more Australian companies to follow the winery's lead. We could be looking at a, at a future that's not too far away where, you know, we have carbon numbers on most products that are on the shelf, kind of like a nutritional label. And just like you'd put something back on the shelf because there's too much sugar in it and it's bad for your health. Um, it could be that, you know, we can put things back on the shelf because the impact to the climate is too heavy. It's a long way to why. We're still here 160 years on, and hopefully, if we keep going along this track, we're going to be here for another 160. Annie Brown, ABC News, Ngambi.